Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. How are you? Mm, awesome. How was your weekend? Mm, very rainy. Oh, that's good. It was very fresh. Yes. Nice. Very good. And you guys, I can see Jocelyn. How are you, Jocelyn? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. How was Nervous your weekend? as well. <laughs> <laughs> ah, don't be, don't be. How was your weekend? It was great. Good. And who else? Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Hello, teacher. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. And you? I'm great, too. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Thanks. So, everybody, welcome, welcome. Today is a very special day, right? So, today, um, we are going to know a lot about a lot of cities. Your classmates are going to talk about a lot of cities. So listen, um, the ones that cannot pass today are going to pass tomorrow because, I mean, we only have 90 minutes, okay? So I think that the time won't be enough. Just in case that the time is not enough, the rest of you are going to pass tomorrow. So we can do two things. We have two options. The first option is that you decide to be volunteer, like teacher, I want to pass, teacher, I want to be the next one, and so on and so on. Or <laughs> um, it can be randomly, okay? I can pick names, randomly and that person is going to pass okay so this is up to you you decide now what i need guys is that you have to be ready okay if you are going to present a powerpoint or pictures let's keep the pictures ready i don't want you to say ah teacher este, uh, let me find out the presentation i don't know where the presentation is no, let's be ready, okay? Now, I'm going to share with you um, the rubric that I'm going to use to evaluate you. Just remember, everybody, that... Uh, oops, 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 sorry. Okay, remember all the aspects that I'm going to evaluate, okay? You have to talk about one city. You have to talk for how many minutes? Five. Five minutes. Five. Okay. So if you already talked for five minutes, I'm going to let you know. Okay, time's up. No more time. Okay. And or I can tell you like four minutes. So you know that you only have one more minute and you have to finish. Remember all the aspects that you have to include. Describe the place using positive and negative aspects. Please don't forget to use intensifiers. And the idea to use intensifiers is to use different, not only very, okay? Uh, tell me the activities that you can and can do, recommendations using should and shouldn't. Remember to mention the common illness or the common health problems presented in those cities. And imagine that you get sick when you are in that city. Tell me what suggestions, or tell me suggestions about it. But in this case, the suggestions is with imperatives. All of these aspects are the ones that I'm going to evaluate. Now, let me share with you the rubric. Uh, can you see the rubric, everybody? or just the present, no, yeah, I think that you can see only the presentation, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, only. Okay, there we are. 
Okay, this is the rubric. Look at this one. So the first thing that I'm going to see is the vocabulary. That is the first aspect that I'm going to evaluate. In the vocabulary, I'm going to evaluate the use of the negative and positive adjectives. So I expect that you use the adjectives that we studied in the class, okay? Also in the vocabulary, I'm going to evaluate the use of the intensifiers. So imagine that you describe the place in a very beautiful way. You use positive and negative adjectives, but you never include intensifier that is going to affect, okay? And then I'm going to evaluate the use of can and can't and should and shouldn't. Imagine that you present very beautiful all your presentation, but you didn't use should and shouldn't. Mm -mm, that is going to affect, okay? Um, I'm going to evaluate the aspect that is common illnesses or health problems. If, if you don't mention this point, if you never talked about the common illnesses, okay, you are not going to get points for it. Then remember that at the end, you had to provide suggestions using imperatives if you get sick. So if you provide, imagine that you are talking and say, okay, if you get sick, if you have a headache when you are traveling, you should, da 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 da, -da. And you never use imperative. I mean, the suggestions are pretty good, but you didn't use imperative. I'm not going to give you the point, okay? And at the end, of course, I'm going to evaluate the pronunciation and the fluency. Remember, everybody, I don't want you to read. So the camera has to be on, okay? And don't read. Sometimes, I mean, I can identify, guys, when you are reading. Uh, in the previous levels that I've taught, I wrote the comment, like, don't read, okay? If you see this comment in your feedback, is because I listened and I considered that you were reading, okay? So please don't read. Uh, remember guys that you had to present pictures about the city that you are going to be talking about. It is optional. You can share only one picture or you can share different pictures or a PowerPoint presentation, that is up to you. It's totally optional. It's your creativity, okay? So is it clear the way that I'm going to evaluate you, everybody? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, do you have any questions before starting? Yes, go. Yes, teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. For example, um, uh, is, uh, is a city no country? Ah, it's optional. I mean, if you decide to talk about a country, you can do it. If it is a city, I mean, it's the same. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I mentioned a city because it is smaller, is it is easier. But if you are going to talk about the country in general, I mean, it's fine. No problem at all. Okay, so if you are going to talk about a city or a country, mm -mm, it doesn't matter, no worries. Any other question that you may have? So are you ready, everybody? Okay, remember when your classmate is presenting, nobody can talk, no one, okay? If you have questions, if you want to say something, you have to wait until your classmate finished. So during the presentation, be sure that your microphone is off, okay? Because if you are presenting, you wouldn't like that your classmate interrupts you, right? So please don't interrupt your classmate. Okay, well, let's start with the last speaking evaluation. And I have a question. Who wants to be the first one? Do I have volunteers? 
I mean, no se peleen por hacerlo, right? <laughs> Anyone? If I don't have volunteer, I have my secret tool. Don't worry. I'm going to pick randomly in that case. Remember, guys, the fastest you passed, the fastest that this um, evaluation ends for you. Now, look at this one. Let me share the screen. This one. Okay. Can you see the screen? Yes? Yes. Okay, I have here the names. I'm going to pick randomly who's going to be the first one. And remember that I'm going to have a timer, okay? So I'm going to take that you have to talk for five minutes exactly. All right, Ta -da -da -da. let's see who's the first one. <laughs> Carla Tatiana. She's not here, right? Okay. Reina Abigail Monge. Congratulations. Good morning, teacher. Are you ready? Yes. Excellent. Just let me um, do, Yeah, do you have the pictures? Yes. Perfect. You can share it. No worries. Give me a moment and I'm going to write your name. Okay. Hmm. If you want to be next one after Abigail, you can lift your hand, right? Or if I don't have volunteers, no worry. I will continue picking randomly. Okay, Reina, let me know when you're ready. Okay, can you see the presentation? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, I'm ready. Okay, your five minutes starts now. Go. Okay, good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about Florence. Florence is an Italian city. It's very touristy. Okay, the city... The city of Florence is a very traditional city. This I... The architecture of the city, it has this renaissance side of stuff, so that makes the city a very traditional city. And um, as you can see in the pictures, the city is very crowded in, most of the time in summer because the city is very visited by tourists. So, but it's a pretty clean city if you can see in the pictures. Um, the most of the street are nearly narrow, but pretty but pretty beautiful for a walk. And the night is fairly bright and the city is pretty safe. It's a pretty safe place, actually. The activities that you can do in the city, well, are a lot of activities that you can do in this place and a lot of places to visit, but I'm just going to tell you um, the most famous things that the people do and my favorite ones. You can walk around the city because it's a small city. So you can go from one place to another walking and enjoy the city. You can also visit the city museums, uh, including the Medici Palace and the what is the name? The Academy Gallery. This is one of the most favorite museums in Italy and is one of my favorites. You can also visit the Cathedral. The name of the Cathedral is Santa Maria di Fiore. Or you can go to the, the Baptistery of San Juan, the Gate of the Paradise and the Yotos Bell Tower. You can enjoy traditional food and restaurants like pasta, pizza, etc. You can see the city and the old bridge, and you can travel in a boat across the Arno River. The activities that you can do is you can drive in the city because it's a small city, and uh, as I say, the streets are not very wide. 
So you won't find a lot of parking for your car. And you can go to the most tourist places without a guide and without tickets. You need to buy the tickets. And you can swim in the Arno River. You should, my recommendation is that you should see the State of David by Michelangelo in the Academic Gallery because it's one of the most popular and famous work of art. And you should see the city from the Barbanis Garden because it's pretty. You should wear comfortable shoes because you will walk a lot. So you shouldn't uh, wear heels or sandals. And you shouldn't buy food in the streets or at the street towns because it's expensive and it's not really safe. It's not really too safe. Um, if you go to Klimp, the, the bell tower, you should bring with you a lot of water because there's a lot of steps. It's a long stair, so. Um, if you have burning problems and you get tired easily, you shouldn't go to these places like the Dome of the Cathedral or the Yoros Bell Tower. Uh, the common illnesses that you can get in this place, it's, well, for example, you can have sunburns for the sun, so you should wear sunscreen. If you, you could get a headache, then you should bring some pills with you. And let me see what else. You can have a stomachal infection if you eat food in the street, the street food. So you will have a stomach ache. Don't try to avoid it in the street. And if you get sick in Florence, go to the pharmacy. Don't go to the private clinic because it's expensive for the tourists. So it's better go to the pharmacy. Another illness as well. The people who has respiratory problem and like asthma shouldn't shouldn't clean this the tourist places as the as the cathedral as as the top of the cathedral because he's they can have respiratory problems. And time so. <laughs> five minutes are really fast okay thank you Reina okay guys would you like to go to Florence Italy do you have questions for your classmates you can ask questions no questions okay thank you Reina very nice presentation Who's next? <laughs> Do I have a volunteer? Or let's continue randomly. <laughs> you like adrenaline, right? Okay, let's pick randomly. Don't worry about it. Okay, look at this one. Oh, by the way, Reina spoke five minutes exactly. So nice job. Okay, let's see who's next. Da, 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 da. The next person is a, well, he's not here anymore. Odilia, Odilia Diaz, very good. Odilia, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Excellent. Give me a moment. I'm going to write your name. Mm -hmm. All right. I can see the presentation. Very good. So, Delia, whenever you're ready. You ready? Yes. Okay. Okay. I talk about uh, Spain. Okay. In Spain, 
is the most, in my opinion, is the most beautiful country because in that country, a lot of places are very clean. Uh, Spain is extreme, extremely big, and but the weather in summer in that country is a really bit hot. Uh, uh, for example, you can't, you can go to the, in that city, you can walk uh, at night because it's very beautiful and it's not dangerous. And later, uh, you can visit a lot of, a lot of places in that country, for example, parks. Uh, if you go to the park, you can, you should, I recommend you, you should, um, have a picnic day because it is very beautiful that, that the park is are very beautiful and you can you can go to the Sierra Nevada because uh, it is very beautiful and you should um ski and you should drink coffee because it's very delicious and later you can you can go to the beach because uh, in summer, because it, the beaches are very beautiful in that country, and it's very, is a little bit hot that uh, in other countries, and you can, in my opinion, you can, you can't drive in that city because uh, uh, the traffic is very is very the traffic is uh, in that country and uh, is a lot of bad traffic and you can't uh you can i recommend you you can't you can't um go to the hotel because it's a is a little bit expensive and um and later the most come um for example the uh, the places are your city if uh this the road park the road park and and Toledo because it's very beautiful and Gran Villa. Okay, the most the most common illnesses in that country is full money because a lot of a lot of a lot of people in that country is smoking in smoke and it's very dangerous because uh, a lot of people smoke and later if you go to the if you go to the if you travel to to Spain I recommend you if you if you seek I recommend you um go to the pharmacy because if you go to the clinic uh, it's a little bit expensive in that country and and in my opinion they, this country is very beautiful but um is a uh, is and is a little bit big and you can go you can travel to another country for example Barcelona o o Toledo o Barbojas and you can't go to the a lot of places in that country um later um I recommend you you should go you should visit a lot of places in the country for example the Bernabeu Stadium because it's is a is very beautiful and I recommend you go to the go to the Europe Park because uh, in that place uh, have a lot of uh, statues for example the statue of Paris and the statue of uh, Germany or another places and it's a little bit um in that country is not dangerous because you can go to the to the uh, walk in in the strip 
and it's a little bit uh, beautiful at night because probably uh, the restaurants are uh, open and it's very beautiful. Time's up. Okay, thank you. Very good job. Would you like to go to Spain, everybody? It's a nice country. Very good. Thank you, Adelia. Do you have a question for Adelia? No questions? All right. Thank you, Adelia. Very good job. Okay, nice presentation. Let's continue. Who wants to be the next one? Do I have a volunteer? Okay, now I have a volunteer. Very good. Okay, I have Wilbur and then I have Wendy. Very good, excellent. Let me write your name, give me a second. Okay, Wilbur, do you have a presentation? You can share it right now. Just pictures. I'm sorry? Just pictures. Okay, you can share the pictures, no problem. Okay, you can see it? Yes, I can the see picture. it. Yes, you can okay. see it. The place that I want to talk about is Perkin. It's in the root of peace from our country. It's a little country which is next to Honduras. And well, the best time to go there is by the time of the winter festival, the first week of August. That by that time, the the town gets a little bit crowded because of the tourists. You can go there and can rent a cabin, or you can take a tent and camp around the park. There are many tourist centers. Uh, there and you can find the museum of the revolution which has uh, a lot of story things about the civil war of our country and you can go to the waterfalls also to the river and you don't have to worry about thief because there are no many criminal or dangerous activities around there. Also, the police station is like a block away from the park where the, the celebrations take place. And the best night to go there is the last day, the Trova night. You can see many, many people playing songs with guitars or rock bands, uh, any kind of artistic activity. It's a very nice place. I used to go there with my friends by the to the winter festival. We we take with us a camp and camp around the the park. It's is in case you get sick you well you're gonna be in problems because there is no hospital over there or i haven't seen it seen it is you should take a coat 
also because it's a little bit cold. And I don't know well what else to say. It's a nice place. I recommend you to go to the winter festival and go to the museum. It's or to the Llano del Muerto is is a very touristic place. You can go there with your friends or family. You should you should try the food. The pupusas and the coffee are really delicious there. And is it's very very pretty. You should go there with your friends or family. Only that? Only that. All right. Okay. You talk for four minutes. You still have one more minute. If you want, you can continue talking or you can leave it as it is. I will leave it as it is. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Wilbur Perkin. That's a national city, nice. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue, Wendy wants to be the next one. Nice, I have volunteers now, I like it. Okay, Wendy, give me a moment, let me write your name. All right, uh, Wendy, you can share pictures or the presentation if you have. Okay, um, this is my presentation. Okay, I can see it, very good. Okay. Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about my favorite city, in this case is Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton is uh, England's city and in my opinion it's the most beautiful for me and it has a big meaning for me. This city um, has a positive and negative aspect but one of the positive aspects in this case is the public transportation because uh, it's one of the most orderly in the, in the country because all the buses station has a schedule. So if you want to visit uh, places and you uh, already have a to-do list, you can uh, know about the schedule of the old buses. But one of the other positive aspects is the country uh, is rather clean. But for me, one of the negative aspects is the people can smoke uh, wherever. So could be a little bit uncomfortable for someone. Okay. Other aspect is a positive aspect in this case the food, the clothes, and the other things are very, very cheaper. So if you want to buy uh, something, you can. The negative aspect in this case is the hotel. The hotels are a little bit expensive in this uh, city, but the experience is the best. So I recommend you. Um, the activities that you can enjoy in this country for example, you can go to the stadium because the football is uh, one of the most famous uh, sport in this city. So you can enjoy a lot this sport. But you can go to the malls or the and you can buy a lot of things. And other thing is you can walk around the parks or you can visit the waterway. But please don't try to swim in the water way. Other activities that I mentioned before is the you can play soccer and 
Also, you can camp because the people really like to camp in this uh, city. So you can visit a lot of places and you can camp this. Other, the most famous uh, sport in this case is you can, you can play a cricket and it's so interesting sport. My recommendation for you it's all the parks, the beach that you can uh, visit in this country. Always uh, could be see these warners. So you shouldn't feed the animals uh, and you uh, shouldn't, for example, throw up the trash in the sand or the street because um, the this city is very, very clean. The more common illnesses uh, are three common illnesses in this city. For example, the first is the flu or the cold in this case, um, because, and the cough, because the weather is always changed. So the people always uh, feel sick for this reason, but there is the allergy for the pollen of the flowers. So the people, it's very common uh, that feel very bad for the flowers. My suggestion for you, uh, for the illnesses in this case, uh, Wolverhampton has NHS, it's a national hospital in this city. And for tourists, you have a discount in this hospital. So it's a good aspect too. Or you can go to the pharmacy if you feel sick. Uh, you can go, you should go to the booth pharmacy and you uh, search a lot of medicine in this. Oh, fine. And the third is you always in the pharmacy has a doctor or nurse if you had a chronic illness and it's at the best place too. So you can uh, go to the these three options, uh, but uh, this pharmacy has other articles for you if you want to need a diaper or, I mean, food too. This uh, pharmacy or a store too has these articles for you. The hospital, it's, it's cheaper if you feel sick. Uh, I mean, that I mentioned before, the tourist has a discount in this hospital. So you can go uh, if you feel very, very bad, but please uh, don't ignore the medical instruction because it's necessary for you help. And the doctors and nurse always be uh, there in the pharmacy and the hospitals. And also the hospitals uh, has um, for around, if I'm not wrong, uh, 20 cabins in, in the whole in the city. So you can enjoy your uh, visit a lot. And that's all. And time's up. Very good job. Actually, you talk for five minutes exactly all right thank you wendy very good interesting place a uh, wolverhampton in which country is it the city again i'm sorry england england okay nice thank you wendy very good job interesting guys i like the presentations so who's next do i have another volunteer <laughs> okay let's do it randomly let's see i think that you prefer randomly hmm. okay here we go the next person will be victor congratulations victor are you ready yes teacher i i will share the, my screen Yes, go ahead, and I'm going to write your name. 
Remember everyone, if you want to be a volunteer, if you want to be next one, do it. No problem. Can you see my screen right now? Give me a second, give me a second. Yes, I can see it. So if you are ready, you can start. Mm, okay, I'm ready. Go ahead. Good morning, teacher and classmates. Today I want to take you on a journey to the breathtaking country of Canada. Canada has fairly beautiful nature, but like any place, it has its positive and negative aspects. So in this presentation, we will explore the incredible natural landscapes of Canada the activities you can enjoy, and some precautions you should take. Let's get started. Canada is truly a land of mesmerizing beauty. The landscapes here are absolutely very beautiful. So in one of the most remarkable aspects is its vast wilderness, which is unbelievable. The country is home to majestic mountains, incredible clean lakes, and very big forests. Well, however, it's important to note that Canada's weather can be quite harsh, especially in winter months. The winters here are extremely cold and snowfall can be too heavy. This can make travel and outdoors activities challenging for those not accustomed to such conditions. Um, in Canada, there are a variety of activities you can enjoy year round. You definitely should try hiking in the Rockies, explore the absolutely stunning Staff National Park, and taking a wildlife tour to witness the diverse wildlife, including bears and wolves. However, you cannot underestimate the dangers of the wilderness. Don't go off the beaten path without proper guidance. Well, while visiting Canada, you should try the local food like ponties and butter tarts. You shouldn't forget take out travel insurance, especially if you plan to engage in adventure activities. It's an absolute necessity to ensure your safety. Well, let's talk about the some common health problems you might face. It's not uncommon to experience colds and flu during the winter months. Additionally, if you are hiking in the wilderness, be aware of the risk of insects bites. Yes, and which can lead to infections. But in case you do fall ill, don't hesitate to visit a, a local clinic or a hospital if needed. Carry the essentials medications like painkillers, like allergic syrup and antibiotics. Those are enough and good. In conclusions, Canada is a land of amazing beauty. 
but it's necessary to be prepared and take precautions. Enjoy the activities, enjoy the food and the local food, and stay safe. Thank you. Okay, nice. Canada, would you like to go to Canada, everybody? Yes. Nice, yeah. it looks very good. Do you have questions for your classmates about Canada? No. Okay, I know you don't want to ask questions because later you don't want nobody to ask questions to you, right? Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, Victor, for good. Yes? Uh, I'm telling me, um, sorry, my partner told me that I didn't have the camera on. Oh, but... it, you had. What happens, guys, is if you are from the cell phone, because I think, Wendy, you shared the, the presentation with your cell phone, right? Yes. So if you are from your cell phone, um, when you are sharing, the camera uh, is like, we cannot see your camera because you are sharing the presentation, okay? But of course, if it is that, I'm not going to lower your score as soon as you keep the camera on during the full class. So in this case, Wendy, I, I know that you, in every single class, you always keep the camera on. So no worries. I'm not going to lower your score. Okay. Thank yeah. You. Okay. But that is not an sure. excuse if you are from the computer. <laughs> so that is not an excuse. Okay. Yes, Victor? And what, what was my time? Ah, let me show you. In this case, it was missing like this. <laughs> you just needed to talk for 50 uh -huh. more seconds, but come on, <laughs> that is enough, no worries. <laughs> okay. So, do I have a volunteer who's next? Okay, random names again. Okay, let's do it. The next person will be da, 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 da. Oh, Reina already passed. I'm sorry. <laughs> Liz, Lizivet, are you there? Yes. Oh yeah, there you yes. are. Okay, Liz, are you ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. I supposed to. <laughs> you can do it. Don't worry. Okay. Give me a second. I'm going to write your name. If you have a presentation, you can start. It is uh, only picture. Okay, it's okay. No problem. Okay. Um. Uh, you uh, watch the the picture. Give me a moment. Yes, I can see okay. the picture. Okay. Okay, if you're ready, you can start. Okay. Good morning, everybody. I will talk about the country I would like to visit. It is Argentina. Argentina is a multi country with the most varied and incredible landscape and destination with very extensive uh, travel and tourist proposal and different cultures, climates and landscape, food and more. Okay. Uh, the breadth of the territory and geography uh, levels means that Argentina has beaches, rivers, mountains, deserts, fields, towns, cities, landscape, this country can offer anything a tourist is looking for or wants. <clears throat> uh, one of the city most visited uh, by tourists is Buenos Aires, is the capital. In this city, the very hot months uh, are December, January, and February. And the months of June and July are very cold. The food is too expensive in the city for the people who live there. 
but for the tourists is to ship. The city is a friendly, safe, and pretty neat. It has pretty modern buildings and very bright streets, but also uh, is a city too crowded and it is very noisy. Uh, the activities you can do uh, when visiting Argentina are hiking, mountain, climbing, fishing, snowboarding, uh, mountain biking, and kayaking. Uh, something uh, you can't do are, uh, for example, eat a lot of breakfast because they have uh, the habit of eating little or uh, almost nothing at breakfast. Um, another thing uh, you can do is eat dinner uh, very early uh, because they have uh, the habit of eating dinner around uh, 9 p.m. Uh, the places you should uh, visit in Argentina are, um, for example, Islas Falls, Puerto Madrid, <clears throat> the Glaciers National Park, uh, in the cities uh, most famous, uh, for example, Buenos Aires and Bariloche. You shouldn't forget to eat their delicious uh, and varied food, for example, Argentina empanadas, uh, the roast, uh, and alfajores. And also, uh, you drink the delicious wine. And you shouldn't forget to wear <clears throat> comfortable clothes and shoes for the different activities you are going to do. And you shouldn't uh, forget to wear sunscreen when you do activities during the day. And the most important, you shouldn't forget to have the battery of your camera or cell phone well charged. Uh, for to take uh, uh, learn photos. Um, the most common illnesses or health problems in Argentina are uh, hypertension, uh, di diabetes, uh, pneumonia, uh, and urinary and intestinal infections. Uh, if you feel bad, uh, during your vacation, I uh, recommend that you go to the pharmacy and describe uh, your symptoms you have so that the person at the pharmacy and can help can help tell uh, you can to take and to make uh, you feel better. Uh, if you uh, still don't uh, improve or you feel worse, I recommend that you ask uh, at the hotel where you sign, where you uh, where you come uh, visit a doctor. Uh, it's only that. Uh, thank you for your. Um, Attention. You see my presentation. It's okay. Very good. Five minutes exactly. Thank you, Liz. Argentina, would you like to go there, everybody? Any questions so far about Argentina? <laughs> All right. Something good is that now I can see a lot of volunteers. Nice. Okay, I see Sophia wanted to be a volunteer. Okay, Sophia, you can share your presentation. Go ahead. Okay, but I uh, connected with my phone. Okay. So this is a problem, right? 
So oh. do it, no problem. It is a problem, guys, if you are from the computer and you don't want to share the camera. Or it will be a problem if I listen that you are reading. In that case, it is a problem. But if you are not reading, if you are fluent, it's all right. Okay. I know that you okay. keep camera on during the classes. So I know that is because of the cell phone. No worries. I just going to uh, put the photo and I hit again. <laughs> Do okay. it. No problem. Okay, so good morning, classmates and teacher. Oh, and I'm, sorry, I'm going to I'm sorry to interrupt you. Will you put the picture at the end or at the beginning? Mm, at the end. Oh, okay, perfect. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. Uh, I start? <laughs> yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, good morning, classmates and teacher. I'm going to talk about uh, about Santorini City. Okay, Santorini City that I want to visit in the future. I don't know uh, if you hear about it. I seen Santorini in movies or series or documentaries and I'm going to talk about that. So, Thera is their official name, but we know like Santorini. Santorini is located in Greece, or Greece, I don't know how do you say, in Europe. So is a small island or is an archi, archi, archipelago. So actually Santorini is cre created after the volcanic explosion. So several years ago, uh, the city was already, but after the explosion, it's uh, more better, I think. <laughs> it's one of the places most gorgeous for visit, for your vacation with your family or with your friends or with your favorite person <laughs> uh, in love, <laughs> you know? Okay. Uh, it's a uh, old city, but is a traditional too, so it's a buff, I think, uh, because uh, after the explosion, they can be uh, created again, but it's a old city, I think. It's not a quiet because it's a tourism place, so yeah, it's crowded and noisy almost at night, and it's a bring city. Okay, has Santorini has a animated a uh, life at night because it's a tourism place, so the people uh, can be dance at night or drink alcohol. I don't know if you want. Um, it's a famous city in Greece, or it's a famous city in the world because the people. Uh, know about Santorini uh, or the views and to me it's really interesting for I don't know the beach or uh, the views or the architecture place I want to visit in the future I say before but I want to but I need money because it's an a expensive place so you need money and yes you need to work more <laughs> okay but what we can do in Santorini Santorini has a various um, activities for example you should get on a uh, catamaran catamaran it's like a small boat so you can uh, pay for a catamaran and you can walk around the city. Honestly, the Santorini is a small city, but I live in El Salvador and this is a small country. So to me, Santorini is a medium city. It's not a small, but it's your opinion. It's my opinion. Okay. Uh, you can drink and eat delicious food. <laughs> there are uh, a lot of delicious food in Greece. 
Uh, for example, uh, the names, I don't know how do you pronounce the names, but you can eat moussaka or a squid or something like that, or seafood. I don't know. There are a lot of food. Or if you want a private tour, you can do it, but it's more expensive. So you need money. <laughs> okay. If you can't swim, please don't swim in because it's dangerous and just fun for your vacations. <laughs> Uh, you should go to the banyards and try or drink different wines. But I don't know if you want, if you like a uh, wines or alcohol, but it's a good option. I recommend you because I don't know, try new things. <laughs> so don't forget your sunscreen because it's near to the beach. So you need sunscreen. And I recommend you bring pills, for example, acetaminophen or loratadine or stomach pills or something like that, because, or bring cream for a born, or if you have allergies or something like that. And in my case, I'm allergic person, so I need a specific medicine. So bring pills or different a cream because in Santorini it's more difficult to found a clinic or a hospital or something like that so um, it's more expensive too so yes you need to bring uh, another things you know thanks Al. okay why I don't... five <laughs> okay. minutes are already fast so show us the picture Yes, okay, let me see. I So everybody, would you like to go to Santorini? Yes. <laughs> It sounds good, actually. Maybe on vacations. Now, something that I like is that now I have a lot of volunteers. Why suddenly you want to be a lot of volunteers? I like that. Okay, while well, Sophia shares the picture, I can see Rosibel wants to be the next one. After Rosibel, well, I have a lot of volunteers, so I will be picking one. Okay, look at the picture. That's beautiful. This is a picture at night. Wow, yes. it, is, it is beautiful, definitely. All right, thank you, Sofia. Very good. Okay. okay, very good. Let's continue with Rosibel. Okay, Rosibel, you can share the picture or the presentation that you have. Can you see me, my presentation? Uh, give me a second. Yes, I can see it. Can I start? Sure. Uh, if you want, you can play the presentation in order that we can see it bigger. Ah. Yes. It's better. It's, it's fast. <laughs> That's rapid. Uh, good morning, everyone. This is my presentation. I choose uh, Ilovasco City. Ilovasco is now a land of Addison. Uh, Ilovasco is a city very beautiful. It's a small, uh, it's a, a little small. Um, 
the weather is uh, warm warm weather is uh, so sometimes sometimes is hot uh, especially uh, the month february to may but in the afternoon or at night is color y lo vasco is very clean uh, is mm, on weekdays is very uh, is very quiet on weekdays is is mm, on weekdays is mm, uh, pretty noisy activities you can do in the city uh, you can visit uh, the different uh, store handicraft of handicraft and buy uh, the different items uh, uh, or buy uh, as, as so souvenir souvenir uh, for give uh, give to to family your family or for give your friends uh, also you can you can visit the different uh, catholic church the most uh, famous in ilovasco is uh, san miguel arcangel this is then is el cal the calvary uh, our lady lady of the helpless Immaculate Conception of Mary and Sacred Heart of Jesus and Saint Anthony de Padua of Padua. In Iloasco, you can play basketball, the, the basketball field is near the, the church of the Calvary. Uh, also, you can do taekwondo and do judo. This uh, sport are prom promoted uh, by um, municipal hall. You can visit uh, the farm house uh, where you where you uh, go go swimming with your family and your friend and and spend. Uh, uh, a day, a wonderful, wonderful day. You can visit uh, Portal Jardín Heliconias. This lugar is very beautiful. There are many flowers. Recommendation. Activities you, you can't do in the city. You can you can uh, smoking in public place. Uh, you can uh, throw a uh, trash uh, in, in in anywhere, and you can uh, drink in public place. And, and you, you should try the different uh, food, delicious foods, food and delicious um, pupusas. Um, you, if you come to, to Ilovasco, you should uh, visit the, the farmhouse. And in this place, the, there, there, are, there is a amusing, um, a little music and if, if you come to in in right now in in right moment in Ilovasco you you should uh, go to the amusement park because in in this month September are the patronal feast here in in the city and if you come to Iloasco, you shouldn't, shouldn't forget to drink and out and out water, and also you shouldn't shouldn't for, forget to bring your personal documents 
because they are uh, very important to take with you whenever to go. Uh, common, il common illnesses or health problems that you can get placed. Um, in this play is common, are common, uh, the cough, the, the flu, uh, the fever, uh, the back case, the headache, headache and the high, high flow, blow, blood pressure, and, and the sore, sore throat. Suggestion in case you get sick. If you get sick in, in this play, you can do the following. Ask, ask, uh, ask at a short or a security ward or a police, po police office, uh, where is the hospital, or, or ask, uh, please, um, uh, then, please ask then to take uh, you to the hospital. And also, also other other scene can you 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 can you can do is um, look for help at a pharmacy and ask uh, for a pill Thanks. to call to call you pain. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. I'm sorry, but time's up. Thank you, Rosibel. All right. Would you like to go, guys? To Ilo Vasco. Ilo Vasco. Would you like to go there? Yes. Yes. It's a beautiful city and yeah? yes. very nice pictures. Thank you, Rosibel. Okay, next one. Let's Thank see. You, Me. Okay, Amaya Portillo. Yes. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, you can share the pictures or the presentation that you have. Did yeah, you? but I can't. I exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Michelle, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Um, excuse me that I want to say that, but um, a lot of persons have the the race or hands, and no. we have an order, I think. All right, listen. I know, guys. In this case, Catherine has an emergency. That's why she needs to pass today. And I took a screenshot, and that's okay. why I let her pass today. So. Then I'm going to mention in order that appears to me. So, for example, after Catherine appears, let's see, let's see who's next. Galdames de Menjivar. After her appears Alegría Flores. After that appears Abarca and then Quintanilla Espinosa. So I'm picking the people in order that appears to me. Okay. I wish everybody could pass today, guys. That's why since the very beginning, I was asking for volunteers. Okay, but let's see. I can see the presentation. So, Catherine, if you're ready, you can start. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Perfect. Okay, in this case, I choose New York for this presentation. I would like to visit there because the city is really beautiful. Uh, the buildings are big. And for me, the city is very um, oh, pretty, beautiful, modern, and, and large. But about the live there, I have no idea because it's really noisy. And the strip are crowded. It's never empty. But the the reason that I want to visit is because I really like the park, and I want to visit Central Park. Uh, it's beautiful, and you can ride a bike, you can walk, you can take photos, you can. You can meet people, and and really, I like for me, it's so relaxing that. And well, when I want to, when I when I went to the park, I really like to sit and see the the paradise and read a book and listen the the beers 
so it's really relaxing. And if you want to visit there, you should you you should put sunscreen because the weather in this in this time of the year is warm. It's not hot, it's not cold, but sunset are hard. So you can put some sunscreen and you wear uh, a short or t-shirt and you can and you should buy a bottle of water and, and you should wear sport tennis because you walk a lot. And well about the about the sickness in this uh well in in spring. The most common sickness are as asthma, skin rashes, and let me uh, uh, allergens. So, if you if you visit this place in a spring and you feel bad or you feel all allergic, you have to you have to you have to take a pill. Oh, and you can buy a box of ices. And if you feel really bad, you have to go to the doctor. And if you feel asthma, you have to buy a asthma inhaler and go to the doctor too. And in the other, in the other signet, you can put a cream and maybe you, you disappear that, that allergen. So the other, oh. Let me check that. This is the park, and I really love the trips. Is there? I there are a lot of trips there. You can talk with new people. You can go with your couple. You can go with your family. You can you can play soccer and spend time there. I really like to see that. But if you don't like the park, you can visit other places in New York, for example, Stein Square or the Stadium of Library or the Bridge or a lake. And you can you can eat the uh the traditional food, I think, like hot dog, hamburgers, pizza. Yeah, I know it's like Jack food, but it is the original food of the uh, United States. Um, you can, ah, but if you want to buy something uh, about that, well, about the, 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 the shop, you really have to have a lot of money because shops are very expensive. But it's only my opinions. But if you want, you can't. You can go to the mall, you can go to the shop, of, of something like that. And maybe, let me see. Mm. Well, I, I really like to go to the museum. I think that there was very interesting to go back because you to go there because, because you can know the picture, the the arms and the history about this and time up okay <laughs> five minutes already passed okay new york thank yes. you very good would you like to go to new york everyone yes, yes. maybe someday it's a nice city very good let's continue okay i can see the next one galdames the Menjibar. give me a second. Carolina, you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, you can start sharing your presentation. Okay, give me one second. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see it. Okay, you okay. can start. Okay, okay. Good morning, teacher and classmates. I will talk about France. If I will have an opportunity to travel, I would like to visit France. This series is impressionant. 
because it has a traditional architecture. It's pretty neat. It's very bright. Um, but some places are a little bit noisy and crowded. It has um it has a, a beautiful places, but if you want to live there, it's too expensive. In France, you can take a lot of pictures. You can take a photo in front of the Eiffel Tower. You can take a boat ride in Bordeaux, but you can swim there because the water is cold. Also, in Bordeaux, you can you can take a seaway trip but you cannot climb there. So if you go to France, you should visit Marseille city. It has a beautiful views. In Marseille, the weather is cold. That's why you should take comfortable clothes and you should visit Marseille at night and you you should eat French food you shouldn't eat fast food because you can get a stomach ache and you shouldn't walk alone at night sorry Um, when you travel, it's common get illness. The most common is get a cold because um, in this place, in these places, the weather is a little bit cold. So if you if you get a cold, take a warm soup, warm soup, and Take lemon tea with honey and rest. But if you go to walk um, wherever place, you can get an uh, injury. So if this happens, put on a bandage. Take a rest and then go to the pharmacy painkiller or another analgesic. Also if you go to if you go a place where there are flowers or if you eat some food you can get um an allergies. You can get allergies. Uh, so if this happens go to the doctors because the allergies are too dangerous. So when you go to France, reserve the hotel in advance and get get only uh, that get only what you need in your luggage and enjoy your trip thanks for paying, paying attention all right thank you carolina france okay which one would you like to go to france everybody absolutely very good yeah let's continue now it's alegria flores jocelyn you ready Yes, teacher. Okay. You can share. Please. I'm going to present. Go ahead.
can you see the presentation? Let's see. Yes, I can. Okay. Go ahead. Five minutes. Okay. Hello, classmate and teacher. Today I am going to talk about Santorini, Greece. Well, I would like to visit this place with my family and my friends. Uh, I can say that it is a very beautiful city. It has a good weather because there are months when it is cold and other months when it is extremely hot. Also, this city is crowded because it is visited by many tourists. But Santorini is a fairly clean city. Also, it is a little small, so you can visit many places in a short time since the distances are short. And well, you can do many activities. For example, you can take pictures, you can go shopping, you can try the typical food, you can go to the museums, restaurants, parks, and you can go diving. Also, you can take a boat trip. I think that it's fantastic. It's an excellent idea. Uh, also, you can swim and you can buy souvenirs. And something interesting is the houses in this city are painted white, which is very traditional. Uh, on the other hand, the people who live in Santorini are very friendly and polite. And as you can see in these pictures on the presentation, Santorini is known for its iconic sunsets, uh, crystal clear waters, and breathtaking views. It's perfect, I, th I think. And if you love dancing or singing, Santorini is a good option as well because there are many nightclubs and in some places there are many festivals as well. So it's great. Uh, however, there are some things that you can't do. For example, you can't drive fast on serious streets because they are narrow. Also, um, you can't smoke in some places because it is prohibited. And in fact, I can say that Santorini is too expensive. So I recommend you some things. For example, you should save money before traveling. Uh, you should search the internet for cheap but nice hotels to stay. And likewise, you shouldn't walk alone on the streets at night because Santorini is dark and there are many robberies. And moreover, in Santorini, there are some tourists who suffer from jellyfish stings or other animal stings. So remember, don't self-medicate and put an ice pack on the affected area and visit a doctor because I think that it's painful and dangerous. And if during the trip you suffer from stomach ache, for example, uh, don't eat street food and take a pill. Or if you suffer from a headache, take an aspirin and rest. Furthermore, if you drive, don't drink alcohol because it's dangerous. And if you feel sick, um, go to the, the pharmacy. But if you have money, go to the doctor uh, because your health and safety are really important. Well, I recommend you to visit this beautiful place with your family, your friends, or your favorite person, I don't know. And I think that this is an excellent idea to go to relax and forget about daily routine, your work, your study. And also, well, I had forgotten that something very important to say is that to travel to this city, uh, you only need your passport. 
so it's great. And I think that it's uh, this city is an incredible, in my opinion, is the best city on the world. And like Sophie said, I hope one day uh, to be able to go to this fantastic place. So that's time's it. up. And thanks <laughs> for your attention. Okay, time's up. Very good. So imagine, guys, you don't need a visa, only the passport. Let's go there. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Unfortunately, we don't have more time. Okay, so we are going to continue tomorrow. Now, remember that tomorrow is the last day. So if you don't pass tomorrow, I mean, unfortunately, we are not going to have another day. Because remember that uh, tomorrow is our last class, okay? So be ready to pass tomorrow. And tomorrow, be ready to be participants, to be volunteers. Now, important, if you passed today, you had to be connected tomorrow. It is not like, ah, I passed today, so tomorrow I'm not going to, I'm not going to be in the class. No, because remember, we need to improve our attendance. So if you don't connect tomorrow, you are going to lose the minute, okay? Now, before leaving uh, very fast, I just want to share how the platform is going. And actually, I want to congratulate you guys because I can see a lot of people already finished. I can see few people is missing, but the percentage is, is pretty low. So basically, almost everybody is done. I think that there are like three or four people that they haven't finished the platform, but they have like 90%. So I know that they are going to finish today because again, tomorrow is the last day. So my recommendation is to finish the platform today at night, okay? Because in the morning, I'm going to verify your scores. When the class ends, I'm going to send your scores, okay? So please finish the platform. Now, do you have any questions before leaving, everybody? No questions? Okay, so everybody, we are going to continue tomorrow. Thank you for being in the class. Very beautiful presentations. And see you tomorrow, guys. Goodbye, Thank goodbye. You. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. See you.